Hey, hello, Interjump. Hey, um, so I was asked to actually put together a quick presentation about what we'll be doing for you guys, um, you know, during the uh, the expo. And so if we haven't met yet, my name is Dan Abair. I am the owner of Mapping Operations and Data on Man Solutions. And what we do is we provide uh, logistic and geospatial solutions to uh, business owners. Um, a lot of this is you know, advancements in drone technology, in geospatial sensors, and in also workflow. And we fuse that all together to create what we call business intelligence for enterprise type clients. Um, in addition to that, I'm also the deputy director for the American Society of Photogrammetry and Remote Sensing, uh, the UAS division. And what we do over there is we're dedicated in, um, in advancing knowledge and understanding of remote sensing technologies and mapping sciences uh, and the accuracies and the, uh, the tradecraft that go along with that. Um, one of the other things uh, that they asked me to talk about here, because I think a lot of folks are dealing with a lot of uncertainty here today, or in this, this uh, in 2020, and that is how has the pandemic actually influenced or affected MODIS? And so I have to tell you honestly, you know, when this first happened in California, where we're stationed at or, or located at, uh, I actually had to close my doors. And I thought, you know, that first eight weeks that we were going to go out of business because all our, our training had been canceled. Uh, a lot of our sales were diverted, our government contracts uh, were set aside, and I'm like, yeah, there was no way that a small business could actually uh, endure this. And what really happened was quite remarkable. By, Jan or by June, you know, we had more business than we needed to do with, and I had to really rush and hurry to hire so many people. You know, as a result, we have our own drone line that came out, we have our own lighter that's coming out, um, and we have our own online training portal. So our business has if anything, gone three times what we thought it was going to be this year. Um, so for those of you that, that are seeing this adoption rate that we're seeing from companies, it's fantastic. And for those that, that haven't seen that yet, it's coming. I, I've just never seen anything like it in the last five years that I've been in the small business uh, or the commercial small business part of the, uh, the enterprise. Um, so they were also going to ask me what we're actually doing for you guys. So we're doing two presentations. So Megan, who is the, uh, the director of the UAS division for, uh, for ARSPS, and myself are gonna go over uh, some of the uh, drone accuracy standards. Um, and the things that we, we're gonna cover three basic things for you guys um, that break out to how do you um, to get your products so they're actually accepted by engineers and surveyors. Uh, this is something that we think is very critical in the industry today, that because a lot of folks don't fully understand some of these actually standards that, that surveyors want to see and expect. Um, the second thing is a real treat that I, I'm really excited to give this one. Uh, matter of fact, we just got done doing some of the, uh, the live recordings. So we have a calibrated range down here in Southern California. And uh, so we've had seven LIDAR systems and two photogrammetric systems out on this range. And so we're gonna give you kind of the, uh, what most folks aren't telling you inside the mapping community. We're gonna show you side by side both photogrammic processes and lighter processes in vegetated environments, in construction environments, accuracy reports, um, and, and what are those actual use cases. So this is a pre-look we're doing for Energon on an official paper that we're doing that's gonna really kind of open up, you know, really what you're doing uh, or what methods are you gonna do uh, to do these geospatial mapping projects that nobody else is sharing. So, hey, I, I hope to see you there. I'm really excited to be uh, presenting here um, you know, in December, and I can't wait to see you there as well. See you soon.